Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Gardevoir. Gardevoir being a very cool Pokemon. I really love using Gardevoir. Base 125 special attacks, that's very high. Base 80 speed, not the most amazing, but you chuck a scarf on there, it can outspeed a lot of Pokemon. You've got really good special defense at 115. Defense is a little bit lackluster as well as HP being a little bit low, but we do have the offensive prowess here in Gardevoir. So, this is the update from the Isle of Armour. I'm going to be showing off a couple of moves that were inserted through the Isle of Armour. But if you want to see some more sets, because there is a little bit more variety um, that you can use with Gardevoir, you can check out the card that is above. It will take you to another video on Gardevoir um, and how it, it can be used. So, first set we have is a Choice Scarf set. Choice Scarf increases your speed by 1.5 times, meaning you outspeed the vast majority of Pokemon that are not Scarf. Now, I'm not sure you all outspeed things like Dragapult, so that's something you probably do need to be concerned about, but um, you possibly could. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what Dragapult speed would be um, naturally. But, move-wise, we've gone for Moonblast, powerful fairy-type attack. It's a variety of different Pokemon, boosted by Stab. Obviously, Originally, a lot of people would go for Hyper Voice, but Hyper Voice um, was only available with uh, Gardevoir Mega, Mega Gardevoir, that's it. Um, so that could be um, a thing, uh, not a thing, but that could be a problem. You can always run things like Throat Spray on Gardevoir with the Hyper Voice, that's definitely an option. So we have still got that viability there um, to use Hyper Voice on Gardevoir if you want to. I just haven't put that set in for today. Um, but Moonblast, we've got Psychic, powerful Psychic type attack, again boosted by Stab. You can go for Psyshock if you're concerned about um, very strong, I'll try that again, very strong special defense Pokemon come out. So, uh, for example, Chansey, if that comes out, you might want to go for like Psyshock instead because that will go on the defense. And then we've got Focus Blast, powerful Fighter type attack, and just hits things like Steel types, which are super effective against you, and Dark types, which can be a bit of a concern. We've then got Trick, if you want to get rid of your Choice Scarf and put it onto a slower Pokemon um, and basically nullify any of their kind of effects from their items, then it's poss a possibility. Obviously, do be cautious because you don't really want to give like a Dragapult a Choice Scarf because it could potentially um, sweep you then at that point, but it's an option for you to consider running. EV's gone for max special attack and max speed with its human nature, so more speed, less attack, and four EV's in special defense. Moving on to our second set, this is a little bit more of a support set, more defensive. And on here we've got leftovers, allowing for us to heal ourselves up a little bit every turn. And we've got Thunder Wave as our first option. Now I did consider putting Toxic on here, but I thought Thunder Wave might work slightly better. And also Thunder Wave is available for Generation 8 Pokemon. Thunder Wave slows down the opposing Pokemon. So let's say that you haven't got the fastest team in the world. It slows down the opposing Pokemon and also has a chance to paralyze them. So it can be very helpful with you. You've got Pain Split, which allows you to do a little bit of um, health maintenance along with dwindling down the opposing Pokemon. Just be cautious. If they're low on health and you're high on health, don't use it because it will have that negative effect on you and your health will go down. Psychic, as just your coverage move in general, you could go for Moonblast if you want to. Um, it's entirely up to you what you decide to go for on that point. And then we've got Memento, just in case you think you're about to go down, you can use Memento, take down the special attack and the attack of the opposing Pokemon, or if you've got um, something that's had like a weakness policy, activate, using that Memento can be very helpful to nullify that effect and basically make their ability redundant, but you have them taking yourself out, so it has kind of worked. But yes, that is the idea for the second set for Gardevoir. EV's gone for max HP and max special defense with a calm nature, so more special defense, less attack, and four EVs in special attack, just boosting that psychic ever so slightly. You could put some EVs in special defense if you want to, um, but that's entirely up to you what you go for. And finally, we have got a Dynamax set. So on here, I've put the weakness policy just because you have that extra. Um, health on you and if you're using doubles you could potentially use something like shadow sneak to activate that weakness policy um, obviously a very weak attack and um, can so if, if it was like dust clops for example although you'd, you'd then have like double ghost weakness but there, yeah you could use shadow sneak for example activate that weakness policy double the attack and special attack making you a lot more powerful basically taking up your special attack to base to 700 which is very very high then when you Dynamax, you've got Expanding Force, which will turn to Max Mindstorm, setting up the Psychic Terrain so no priority moves can hit you. Um, and when you're back to normal, your Expanding Force will go to 1.5 times power. 
and hit all foes on the field. So very, very good move, especially if you've got that weakness policy activated that could potentially do some sweeps. You've got Moonblast, which will turn to um, Max Starfall. I'm not sure what the effect is there, but it's just a good coverage move or good move to have. You've got Energy Ball if you want to set up the grassy terrain. So, for example, if you've got Pokemon that are weak to ground types, so, like, so Earthquake, for example, having that max overgrowth could be helpful. And then Thunderbolt to set up the electric terrain just in case you might ever need it, maybe to boost electric type attacks. If you want to, you could go for like a status move like Thunder Wave on here to allow you to have max guard. Um, so you definitely live so you can get those expanding forces off um, after you're back to normal, but that's up to you what you decide to go for. EVs, max special attack, max speed with intimidation, so more speed, less attack, and four EVs in special defense. That is all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so I hope you had a good one, and I will see you soon.